Hey y'all, it's Michael. Whew, it's about to storm. So today I'm here to talk to you about the autobiography of Malcolm X, obviously by Malcolm X, with the help of Alex Haley. Completely honest with you guys, I am daunted to do a review of this book because this book really talks about so much and it's hard for me to put into a a good enough time in this video so I, I don't think I can ever I don't think I can I don't think I can do that because this book talks about so much more than just Malcolm X. It talks about race and religion and life. It's it's it is this book is wonderful. Such an important book but also it is just it's fucking incredible. This book I loved it. I, I, usually when I talk to you guys about books, I already have something in my mind. Um, usually I have notes. But this time, this is all just coming from my head because I really can't explain to you how much I love this and I would recommend this so much. So basically, this book is obviously about Malcolm X. This book starts off with the point of view of Alex Haley um, and his most notable work is Roots. He was chosen to write an autobiography about Malcolm X. At first Malcolm X was really hesitant but then eventually they warmed up. I love that this book decides to do this because in, since in the beginning you get Alex Haley's point of view essentially of how Malcolm X is portrayed to others and then afterwards we go all the way Malcolm X talks about himself essentially. This book covers all of his life, him growing up, him going to jail because of of all the things that happened like with him selling drugs and stuff while in jail he finds Islam and he becomes a Muslim and then we see how he views Islam in general this book also the pacing is really great because it just keeps going and going and going and going and so like even the even the middle portion was so, I think that was my favorite part where he was doing drugs and like partying and seeing how his um, drug system worked, like how he distri distributed drugs and like being in the trap house. The one thing about this book is that it is oozing with charisma from the first chapter all the way to the end. Something about how, it might be also the help of Alex Haley, but Something about how Malcolm X describes his life, it's so charismatic, he's so, I was drawn to him, like I was, I, it felt as though it was like a friend telling me about his life and his views. Some of the things I was like, okay, I don't necessarily agree with that, but right away you can tell why people were gravitated towards him. So he brings up a lot of influential people, which I thought was awesome because it's it's great seeing how he how all of these people that I'm reading right now are starting to connect. He touches up on Richard Wright, amazing, and James Baldwin, two great writers. Since I'm reading them, it was just like a nice little connection. I also really enjoyed the portion where he talks about the the civil rights leaders. That was fascinating because I was talking about this with my um with my coworkers how I was reading. Uh, his autobiography and he was like sh she was like yeah he's such an interesting person and he really is while his views were so extreme compared to my views of how I view the world what I really loved about it that is that he was so set onto in this point of view he knew what he believed and he had evidence to back it up and he had receipts to what he was talking about and that's what I really enjoyed that he he was so he was so passionate and that's another thing about uh, the book is that you could tell not only that he was really charismatic but that his passion and what he was so strongly passionate about and what he loved and what he believed in was really went through the book because I knew it was going to be straightforward but something about the way it's written so straightforward really can stand next to what his point of views are because they go hand in hand together like his writing and the, his point of views stand really strongly. I'm not gonna lie though some of the stuff that he talks about I completely lead. like I was I was clapping and I I was like yes 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 because this book is really long it's 500 pages <laughs> so it's, it's a tome but it flew by so fast because I was so into it it really did feel like 
this was a friend that was just telling me his life story and I was there for it from the beginning. Small portion and where he talks about, obviously he's talking about um, white people, but it was so funny how he mentions that during World War II that the, how come Americans were rounding up Japanese people here in, a, um, in America and putting them like in little camps because they were they were in war with Japan, but how come they didn't do that with Germans? And for some reason, I was like, huh, that's a really good point. Because like I said, his points of views, some of them were so different from my point of view, but like my coworker was saying that it's so interesting. For me, when I approach a book, especially with nonfiction, I don't necessarily have to agree with everything. I just want you to, I want you to provide evidence. I want you to provide clues. I want you to provide reasons why you believe what you believe in. And I thought he did that. A lot of the things that he believed in, he backed it up. I want to say convince, but he was able to... I guess I guess he convince. He was able to portray what his beliefs are. And I think that's such a... I think that's a great... I think that's a great trait of a leader is able to convince others of of something and giving it up with reasoning and making someone believe it is one of my favorite books of the year i think this is the top so far and i've read some incredible books this year and this one just really spoke to me looking back like uh, the top books that i pick whenever um, i do my top books of the year on this channel um i always have an emotional connection not only because Obviously, like it has a great write, great writing, great characters. Obviously, all that literary stuff. But I think this is what great books can do: is have an emotional attachment to it because this book is so important on what's going on right now in the world and in America. And oh, it's just fantastic! If you have not read this book, I would highly recommend it. If I could, this would be six stars out of five. I think it surpasses everything that I look in that I look for in a book. It is fan freaking tastic. I've been told so many times by so many people to read this book. This is a book they were people have told me that I will love it. Like I I will love this book and I I am so glad I read it. I'm excited to also read other books, not like an autobiography, but about M Malcolm X. Um, I would love, if you have any recommendations about um, books about Malcolm X, let me know. <gasps> if you read the autobiography of Malcolm X, let me know what you thought about it. I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, so yes, until then, I'll see you guys till later. Bye!